Yo, uh, don't, he, well, ah, I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, yo, um, so what I'm basically trying to say is make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video because there's actually an opportunity for you to win $20,000, which is a big deal from Foot Locker and from Pencil. But uh, before we get to all of that, check out the unboxing, which is going to start right now. Yo, 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 hey guys, what's popping? Jacques Slade here, back with another unboxing. And today, as you can see, the box is all already gone. Uh, this was a very special package delivered to me today from the good people at Foot Locker and Pencil. And I have the pleasure of opening this up for you and giving you guys a glimpse at what's inside. So there's a little bit of a backstory to this one and I'm also sick, so that's why I sound a little weird. So if I sound weird to you guys, it's because I got a bit of a cold. So a few weeks ago, Foot Locker and Pencil invited me out to Portland to take a very special class on actually designing sneakers. As a sneakerhead, being able to design a sneaker is something that I've always wanted to do. And this one day class basically gave me a glimpse into that world everything from the marketing to warehousing to shipping to designing to doing the last to sewing mind you i was terrible at all of it but it was something that i really really enjoyed and it was really i would say an enlightening experience into the process of what it takes to actually bring a shoe from an idea inside of your head to something that's on the foot of a consumer there are a thousand steps in between those two steps and as sneaker guys i don't think we often consider all the steps that it takes to get a shoe to market i mean everything from marketing like that matters and how it's marketed to the consumer to the colors that you use to the materials that you use to the insole to the outsole to the look of the shoe whether it's a sport shoe whether it's a lifestyle shoe whether the company wants to make that shoe at this moment in time or if the company has other goals if the company needs to sell so much of this sort of shoe if this shoe isn't going to sell but it's a cool hype shoe does the company still put it out or do they shelve it till later on down the line there's so many steps in between that it was just really mind blowing to me. I feel like I have a good grasp of that stuff, but to see it in person and to have to actually go through the exercise of going through all of those steps, it was very, very enlightening. But anyway, let's see what we have here. So for those that don't know Pinsole, Pinsole is run by Dwayne Edwards. Dwayne Edwards is a designer that used to work at Nike slash Jordan brand. And when he left the company, he wanted to create an opportunity for young designers to get the opportunity to actually work for the Nikes, the Reeboks, the A6, the New Balance, and all of those companies. And so he started this company called Pinsel. Pinsel is basically an educational facility that teaches you how to design and often gets you internships and jobs inside of these brands, I believe. I, I don't know the exact number, but I know the majority of the students that go through the course actually end up having jobs actually in the sneaker world or the sneaker industry, which is a big deal. So for this shoe, they hooked up with Foot Locker and with ASICs, what Pencil and Foot Locker have been doing, they've combining their powers, so to speak, to get the message out to the world to designers that hey here's an opportunity for you to get your designs out to the world you don't have to be a part of these big companies you can go through Foot Locker and Pencil and you can see your product inside of a Foot Locker store which is a huge deal I don't even know how I would act if I had a shoe inside a Foot Locker so for this project they worked with ASICS and there were two designers that created this shoe and it actually already released at stores it released have been very limited quantities and I believe they're sold out already but I do get an opportunity to show you guys the shoe there but they put it inside this very dope box as you can see it has my name right there and it has the Foot Locker logo there but then if you turn it on this side you see it has the Pencil logo and then it has the ASICS logo here on top now inside they made this box look like a, a design desk so if you if you're if you're a designer or you know what a designer's desk looks like that's what this box basically is it raises up has a little hit lip here and you can do your drawings here so if you're drawing or whatever it is you do but let's take a look at what's inside this doesn't open up all the way so i'll just kind of angle it over here first we have uh just a regular looks like a dust bag a pencil bag and this is where you keep your supplies for if you draw uh i don't draw has some pencil paperwork and some pencil ooh, nicely sharpened pencils too uh I, unfortunately i do not draw i'm terrible at it so i will spare you guys the uh me drawing anything so you don't have to see that but very very cool shout out to pencil for that 
Then there is there's actual press release. Uh, here's a picture of my class that was that took the class of all the people that took the class. It was like Matt Hatfield. There was Gerald from Soul Collector, Stanley from Wear Testers, and a few other people uh, that I don't necessarily know by name. Um, but the shoe that you're going to see is the A6 Gel 180, and that is this shoe right here. This shoe was created by two designers, and I don't remember their names right off the bat. Let me confirm their names. There was two designers, Brady and another guy named Vince. Vince is from Australia, and Brady is an American footwear designer, and they designed this shoe. They called it the Fresh Up, and the shoe was inspired by the hip hop culture, which I think is obviously, I think is a cool idea. So it's inspired by the dance, by the graffiti, by the style, and that's where you get a lot of these colors from. You see the gold. Gold is obviously something big with the big bright colors. There's red, there's white, there's blue. The big A6 logo. It's It kind of goes along with the style of hip hop and seeing how crazy hip hop colors were, at least back in the day, back in the 80s. There's also a hat in here, and it looks like there's an extra pair of laces in there as well. But let me give you all the details on the shoe so I don't get anything wrong here. It says, created by Masterclass members Brady Corum, an American footwear designer, and Vince LeBon, an Australian color and materials designer. So there, there you go, just that distinction there shows you that there's also two different jobs that it took to create their, these shoes. One is the footwear designer, uh, which is Brady, and then there was Vince, who is the color and materials designer. So oftentimes, you'll get a shoe design, get a shoe design created, something like this, the A6 Gel 180, and one person will design it, but it'll go to an entirely different person who will determine what the materials on the shoe is going to be, and also determine what the colors of the shoe are going to be. As most of you know, different colors tell different stories, and they pop and they resonate with different sorts of consumers. So as a material or a color designer, you really have to pick out the right material and color choices together in order for a shoe to be appealing to a consumer when it's sitting on a shelf. That's not, it seems simple, but that's a really hard job, trust me. We tried it and it's a difficult thing to do. See, the shoe is inspired by hip hop culture's inherent nature of creativity, innovation, and features textures, colors, and colors from microphones, turntables, graffiti, and more. Again, inspired by hip hop, taken from the hip hop culture, and implementing all of that stuff into this one design in order to make it something that they hope is appealing to the consumer. That's the, that's the thing about sneaker design, you hope that the consumer likes it and that the consumer is attracted by it. You never know how the consumer is going to respond. You can only go off based on your insight, on your instinct of what you think customers will really like. And there's a little bit of data in there as well, but generally, you know, you hope that the customer really likes what you see on the shoe. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at that. Big shout out to Pencil. Actually, stay tuned, because uh, after I do this unboxing, I'm gonna do a little bit about how you can actually win $20,000, which I mentioned at the very beginning of this video, but that is actually a real thing. So stay tuned for just a moment. So again, this is the A6 Gel Light 180 Fresh Up by Vince and Brady. Big up to them for their creation. I did get a chance to wear these while I was important during my design class and they feel great. I believe these are sold out right now. They were only sold at Foot Locker. They were limited quantities, but I just wanna thank A6, I wanna thank Foot Locker, I wanna thank Pencil for making all of this happen and uh, stay tuned because I have some more news for you guys. But as for the unboxing, uh, the pencil portion is officially done and my head's too big for this hat. But again, thank you to pencil for this. I really love this box. This is an amazing shoe box, an amazing construction. All right guys, with that being said, I'll see you soon. Hope all is well, peace. Okay, big shout out to Vince and Brady. That is a lot harder than it looks. Again, I took the class and we had a sort of design session and it's not as easy as it seems to be, but there is an opportunity for you to actually win $20,000 if you're into sneaker design. So Foot Locker and Pencil, they do this thing called the World Sneaker Championship. Basically, it's a 64 people get entered into a design contest and the winner of that contest is going to have their shoe show up at a Foot Locker. So if you are someone that is into design or that wants to do sneaker design, here's an opportunity for one, for you to do it and get your work seen by a lot of people to, to win $20,000. And then 
three, to have your shoe inside of a Foot Locker store, a shoe that you designed, but there are uh, some details here. Let me find them for you guys, and I'll give you all the details. It actually already started. You can submit your submissions by March 25th. That's the submission deadline. Then they're going to pick the top 64, and then there's gonna be a week by week breakdown of who's gonna win. It's kind of like March Madness. It's gonna 64, 32, 16, eight. Wild card rounds quarterfinals, semifinals, the championship, and then the championship ceremony, and then there's a launch of your shoe at Foot Locker. I am possibly going to be one of the judges, but the top eight, if you make it to the top eight, you actually get flown to Portland for a live like one-on-one -on -one design session with the top eight. You guys will go head to head in person and the shoe will actually go into a Foot Locker store I believe in 2019. That goes along, kind of shows you how long it takes for an actual shoe to come to life. Anyway, so if you do want to enter, uh, there's a website. Go to worldsneakerchampionship.com and that's where you can enter if you want to be in the contest. Viewers will vote so your peers will actually vote and if you do something dope then you could possibly win twenty thousand dollars and have your shoe inside of a store that's a big deal that's not something to laugh at or something to dismiss so if you want to do sneaker design here's your opportunity uh, and with that being said thanks guys for watching and I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and good luck if you actually enter the design contest I really hope somebody that watches my videos wins I know that's super selfish but I hope someone that saw this video is one of the winners anyway all right guys appreciate you and I'll uh, see you soon peace